Oh. Ah, das wird toll. Evening, everyone. Here we are again. <laughs> Here we are again. <sighs> Phil, hope you're doing well. You must be doing well because you put a video up. <laughs> Evening, everyone. Evening, evening, evening. Make sure I'm charging. There you go. Oh. Evening, evening, evening. A good day wherever you are. We're in for a treat tonight. It doesn't matter what the result is, it's gonna be an accurate one. So it's gonna be super interesting from a perspective of where we were like 22 days ago. So it's what's gonna make it very interesting. How am I feeling? Um I don't uh, I feel alright. I felt good in my little warm up ride earlier. Uh, but I feel like it, I'm going to have to ride myself into this because I still feel a little bit tired from the WTRL race on Tuesday night. I'm not going to lie. So um, <clears throat> I can't really put off the test any longer because accurate numbers are better than better numbers. So I'm not going to like rest and rest and rest and, and let that eat away at me and get inside my head, which I know a lot of people are guilty of. Um, I'm just going to get on with it um, and see uh, see what we come out with. I'm not really going to set myself like a target. Um, the reason why I'm testing so often now, like so often, not so often, so soon after the last test is because I'm coming back from illness and, and a lot of time off. So in theory, my FTP is going to increase quite a bit. Uh, it obviously has with the efforts that I've done, so it requires a test. Now, not everybody will be the same. Obviously, everybody's different. So, uh, this is just me. All right. Nice one, Mateus. Good job on that victory. Apologize if the fan is noisy. Uh, it has to be on full power. <laughs> Got a really good Spotify playlist on the go at the minute from Jay Cutler. What's my CTL at the moment, Tom? It is 70. Uh, and three weeks ago it was like 40. So. This is nice, the fan is right in my face. May the watch be with you. <laughs> So I've got my head unit as well, which allows me to actually pace a little bit better because I can see uh, what my average watts are and I can also uh, get the smoothness a little bit better because Swift, even though it's got three second average with Wahoo, you can get like five second, I think it is. So, um, what's the goal? <laughs> the goal is to finish and <laughs> not blow up too early. So if you caught the last one, you would have seen 
that appears to do quite well. So this one, I'm, I'm going to do the same, obviously. Um, so here we go. Thank you, Tom. It's very motivating. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate that. <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll resort to using fingers to rank the pain level as well. So obviously one will be like, yeah, this is fairly easy, fairly comfortable, and five will just be, well, I think you'll know when five is being deployed. So uh, anyway, see you on the other side.
really good sensations already. We'll see.
I gotta be careful. It's not looking good. Don't wanna throw it out of the water now. Heart rate's peak too early. I gotta give myself room. Otherwise it'd be a fail. Take notes. How do you salvage a 20 minute test? Don't tell me not to talk.
Ah, I'll keep talking then.
That is like horrible proof that the fitter you get, the harder it gets. Like, especially when you're going for new numbers. Oh, I felt awful there. I felt awful. That was probably up there with one of my worst 20 minute test efforts. I mean, I was, I was empty for about 12, 13 minutes, which was very strange. Well, not very strange, because it's always like, it's always a little bit of a guessing game when you're going for a new uh, 20 minute power, especially, especially when it's so much higher than what the last number was. Like, if I was going, if I was going like, the music's too loud. If I was going, for example, from, you know, a 350 watt FTP to a 355 watt FTP, I guess it would be just as hard. But when you're trying to pace an FTP effort, when the jump is so big, it becomes very risky. It's like a big, it's like a big kind of, you know, gawping gap where you don't know really where you kind of stand. Like as much as the, the software can predict like software can predict like your FTP and stuff but there's a fine line between like overcooking it and like undercooking it so uh, that's still a massive increase like we'll look now and you'll be able to see like so if I end ride so I mean yeah not quite 30 watts, but pretty close. Yeah, so that's the difference. Like, I might look in control, but the difference is I'm very well practiced, I think. So, like, you know, I've done these efforts for years, and you almost don't have to look at the power meter. Um, it's a great pacing tool, but you almost don't have to look at it when you've done it so many times like you get you can gauge the effort um, So like for me like that's still like you know hands down That's still like a massive improvement, but what I want to stress is There's no point like me now in this situation There's no need for me to have like a rest period and then test because if I do that the likelihood is I'll be missing an opportunity to train so there's a reason why I'm testing now and it's because I've just got to get an accurate number like it doesn't matter what the number is like it wouldn't have mattered if today's result was 325 or 345 it wouldn't have mattered all that matters is we've got a number now to work on tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day until you know the system gets fed again and my body starts to go okay now i'm working at 333 this actually feels fine so after a certain amount of time it might be another it might be 10 days i might be testing again in 10 days because there might be such a response that i might be like there's an obvious change here and i need to test again so usually like it becomes like few and far between you know because you, you start to look at like you know, when I'm at peak fitness, the difference would be like four watts, maybe. So, like, testing regularly may not be a um, may not be a thing. But uh, hang on. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> I'm not going to do a round test. Um, Yeah, John, I, th I think um, over 340, I mean, 340 would have been the target. Here's, here's what I wrote on my whiteboard. So to get a, to get like a 340 watt FTP, give or take, like my pacing strategy was to like negative split it, but it would almost be like a ramp. So I'd set off at around 340 for five minutes, just like I did with the last test, 350 for the next five, 360 for the next five, 
and then you split the last five minutes. I always split the last five minutes down because it always gets really hard. But um, I already started feeling it at like the 12 minute mark, so I couldn't ramp it up to 360. Um, and the, the, the thing to take away is obviously the more conditioned you are and the more, the more you know your body, the less I have to rely on technology. So when, when I got to that 12 minute mark, even though I had in my head I was gonna up it, I couldn't. And so this is where experience matters a little bit. So by, by doing the effort often, and I've done it for years and years, you then know, well, what is, like how am I gonna get myself out of this? It's not a case of now I keep pushing, I keep pushing and pushing because, you know, 17 minutes, 42 seconds could be the end of me, which it doesn't matter because, you know, you're still going to, well, it'll be a failed 20 minute. But, you know, the, the, the idea is to get your best 20 minutes. So you've got to assess on the move, which is quite difficult to do. Um, you've got to, you've got to like, well, yeah, you, you've really got to think on your toes a little bit. And so that's what I did um, at, at between like 12 and, and 16 minutes. I went through a bad patch and I had to kind of like reassess. Um, yes, I'm using the kicker as a power source. Um, why did I test it like this? Um, why wouldn't I test it like this? This is what I'm used to, so 20 minute effort. Plus it's very similar to, to the races that I do, technically, being a hill climber. Um, or rather the efforts I enjoy. I can't do the ram test. For those of you who are new here, I can't do a ram test to save my life. There's no real, uh, Daniel, there's no real like point when you should start hurting an FTP test. You start hurting whenever it starts to bite. Like you'll naturally, at some point, you'll naturally start to get to that grippy section. For some people it might be, you know, 12 minutes. For some people it might be 16 minutes. It all depends how you pace it, but also all depends on like your psychology as well and your physiology. So um, it's different for everybody. Um, Great question, Gem. Yeah, I'll change my training zones straight away because in theory, I've known that my FTP has changed for about a week. And so all the workouts I've been doing, I've been doing with a 309 watt FTP rather than a 333. So I'm just gonna jump straight into it. It might be a little bit of a shock, but um, you've got to bide your time with it. Like it usually hurts for a week or so and your body's just adapting to it, but I should be all right. Like. With, with my history, I should be fine. Um, no, Tom. I've never done a peak indoor 20... I've never done an indoor 20 minutes in peak shape. Um, only because last year was like the first time like I'd properly been on Zwift with the setup I've got so I'd never done it um, and until then because of all my races are outside I'd only ever do the FTP, FTP test outside um, plus I just love the feeling of like trees and stuff going past really quick like doing it indoors is just like an absolute pain in the backside um, I'm only doing it now because of weather so crap and because it's cold outside and you know I'm still coming back from a respiratory illness so doing a hard effort outside is like even riding zone one zone two outside I come back feeling like I've done like six hours could I hold that for an hour 333 yeah I should I should easily be able to hold that for an hour because the longer the effort, in theory, the better I am.
Yes, I use Ergmod, James. Yeah, um, I like Ergmod. Guys, those of you asking, like, what's better? What what test is better? There isn't the best test. You try them all and find which works best for you. Like. Also think about how it fits in with whatever goals you have. Like, if you're going to be doing, like, if you live in the Alps and you've got, like, half an hour climbs to deal with, then the 20-minute test might be better for you. Um, and whichever one you enjoy, like, don't get hung up on it. It's like, you don't try and, like, make something difficult when, you know, you could read, like, a million different things about which one's best and you you still don't know what you want to do so just just do it is my is my uh how would i summarize how your ftp increased so much in a short span of time um because i was riding my bike consistently that's uh that's the long and short of it uh there really is no other reason the fact that i was the fact that i took almost four to five weeks off of no riding at all and i had covid um which you know is neither here nor there whether or not that affected it but still taking a month off is still going to drop my ftp so just by riding again and doing like doing what i've done which you can look back and see what i've done um you know that's caused the increase not many people are going to see an increase like that um because everybody's different um so what do you mean phil taking away the outside inside feel how does the effort compare compare with what how do you get better at 20 minute tests you know the answer to that one I'm averaging about 15 hours a week on a bike at the minute, which <laughs> isn't a lot when you look at a, a lot of riders. Um, my trainer resistance, I saw a couple of, um, I saw a couple of questions on that. Uh, I think it was a tad low. I'm not going to lie. I think it was a tad low. Um, but my trainer resistance was there, so... Uh, just allows me to control the cadence so just like if I was outside on you don't really need it on on that course on tempers but if I was outside I always use the same bit of road which is pan flat and uh, usually never has any wind so it's a perfect um, it's like like for like well not completely like for like but um, I'm trying to keep things as similar as possible. Um, so, <laughs> a couple of you have asked about the one hour FTP test. Um, negative. So, I'm not going to do a one hour FTP test because that would take so much out of me. Um, you know, you're talking like mental and physical. Like, like it, how would that fit in with my training plan? Um, it wouldn't basically so and there's no need to do it especially when i'm not in good shape because it would just be putting myself in a in a hole um just for the sake of like trying to find out if something's more accurate by one or two watts and when you start getting to the point where you're just looking for one or two watts you might as well just not ride your bike because you've always got to look for the 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 big picture and it's like trying to test things within an inch of its life to see if it's good or not. You've got to save that for like the week before race day or something. Um, so at the minute, a one hour test would ruin me. I might do it in the summer when I'm a peak shape, but that may end up being when I have a 380 watt FTP. So doing 380 watts for an hour would be just as hard, um, if not harder, because the higher you go up the watt per kilo chart, the more impossible it is to actually do your one hour power. Um, it's just, you know, 
that's just how it goes. Um, Fruit down fiber. Uh, can't really answer that question, Andrew. I would tell you to rest if you've got a niggle or an injury. Injury's different, or niggle's different to muscle soreness. Like, what was my FTP before COVID? Three hundred eighty-three watts at 60 watts per kilo so yes before any of you say it, it is world tour power <laughs> and before any of you say why aren't you a pro i'm not even going to bother addressing that <laughs> <laughs> Has time off the bike matched on the bike uh well technically yes just it's one to one now so i had four weeks on four weeks four weeks off and i've been riding for like five weeks roughly i'm doing something special for the 10k subs it's not gonna be a one hour test i'll tell you that no that graph's not with the new ftp um Lord, someone, someone kick Lord. Oh no, wait, he's a mod. Okay. Um, well, I think, unless there's any more questions. Although I don't. Pretty much learned everything you need to learn there. <laughs> My FTP's increased. Um, nothing else to learn. Uh, critical power. So my best on Zwift is uh, three seven nine. So eighty watts. Ah, so I was only ten watts below what I. Um, that's funny. My Wahoo says uh, 348 average, and this says 350. There's only a two watt difference before I four eye power meter. Um, <laughs> is that a near VQ? <laughs> uh, um, no, I won't test again in 22 days. I might even test in 10 days. Um, to keep the accuracy, uh, you, you know I'm all about accuracy rather than um, rather than uh, always beating the number. And for those of you watching on on repeat on replay, because uh, I'm going to cut this bit out and make it its own video for you, um, so so you kind of I don't know get a little bit more of an insight. Um, or actually, I might even make a video or analyze it. Um, I didn't pace it as, so in the last test, I finished a lot stronger, which is, which goes in hand in hand anyway, because I wasn't quite sure what my FTP would have been that first time testing it. So testing it this time meant that I went off at a more kind of reasonably, you know, solid pace where I could basically maintain the whole time. You can see, you know, my average doesn't really change throughout, uh, even the last kind of, yeah, like the last minute you would have thought I could have pushed over 400, but I couldn't, which kind of means I was kind of dangling on that borderline for a lot longer, um, which is just as good pacing as the way I did it last time. Um, so it's it's quite comforting to know that, uh, you know, this is an accurate number now. Um, and... 
it could be that you know in maybe not in 22 days time but in certainly a month's time because what will that be well yeah it'll be the end of february we could well be knocking on for like 365 um three three seventy for twenty minutes. So that'll be close to a three hundred and fifty five watt FTP, which then only puts us uh fifty five, sixty five, seventy five, eighty five, about twenty five watts below my all time best, which for the end of February would be a good place to be to then build on um later on in well, it still gives us loads of time because I don't really have anything coming up. But yeah, it still preps us. And, you know, it puts us in a good position. Like NFL players say, you work harder in the off season uh, than they do in the preseason. So it's getting me there. It's getting me there. Um, nice one, David. Four point four seven. That's solid indeed. Ah, uh, DJ, don't worry about the blood iron thing. Nah, it's. Hey, Louis. Thank you. <laughs> coming to Portugal soon that's good though David it's good it's good um, also when we get into like the season uh, <laughs> lord <laughs> always thinking ahead um, when we get like closer to what I'm going to call race season I'm going to be doing like different kind of testing so probably more like critical power testing um, where I'll be testing different durations and um, and then seeing how that corresponds to my FTP um, there's like some mathematics involved but basically you do like different length of efforts and then it gives you like an assumed or a calculated FTP based on that um, funny I used last year's numbers as a test and it came out as 382 which is one watt lower than what my actual ftp was based off a 20 minute effort so it was pretty it was pretty close like it was pretty it was pretty accurate so i might well end up using that further into the year because i'll be doing more hill climbs and and those shorter efforts will uh, go hand in hand um with the uh with the hill climbs and stuff uh yes tom i'm going for the everest in world record this year yeah um yeah good question David yeah yeah um I enjoyed that five minute max effort um yeah I'll try and find like a volcano race or um Bologna is good because it's steep and you can just go full gas on the bottom and uh, there's there's not really any draft that gets involved um so I could try a Bologna race but not for a while um got to be careful not to like over test uh that's something else i know a lot of you have left the stream already but over testing is another thing that um some people are guilty of doing where they think they can do a better number so if i was disappointed with this for example i'd give it like two days and i'd go again um but I, there's no reason to be disappointed with it because it's a new personal best like it's a new ftp so um you know it doesn't really matter uh, you could do an FTP test every day, you know, and you'd likely get a different number every day, you know, about one watt, two watt, five watt, um, every day for a week. That might be a video series, actually. Um, <laughs> um, Winnet. What, do they ever stay on Winnet? No. No, I won't use Winnet for, the FT for that. Um... Rollod, I used a time trial. Um, I used a time trial uh, race tonight to test the 20 minute effort because it gave me a little bit of motivation to push, you know, for an actual finish line. So not everybody likes to do it, but um, it's quite nice to, it's quite nice to, um, to have something there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling like the National Hill Climb on Winnats is like, it's like, yeah, good job like another short one uh i need to get on the board of directors or whatever it is who chooses where the heck they put these hill climbs because um they're always always favor favoring like a certain length uh so i need to get i need to get influencing in that side of the um that side of the uh, organization 
Um, Josh, you can stand. You can stand. There's nobody to tell you that you shouldn't stand or you should sit. Um, you know, Contador used to climb out the saddle. He used to do his tests out the saddle. Well, he also used to sit in the saddle as well. But like, at the end of the day, it's, your ma it's like whatever the heck you can get out of yourself. So who's to say like, yes, it's whatever the heck you can get out of yourself, but you have to be seated. Or it's whatever you can get out of yourself, but you have to be riding 100 RPM. I mean, there's no rule so what works for you works for you uh, I don't think I have gem I don't think I have how many watts do I have to put out to be at 7 watts per kilo 420 420 watts it's going to be like two and a half three minutes in it David the, the climb for the hill climb champs it's not very long. Uh, yeah, it's quite literally a sprint. Like, you know, you basically don't have to sit down for it if you're strong enough. You can like stand up and and smash out seventy RPM. And uh, but you always stay out the saddle sometimes in a hard race TT. So why not an FTP test? Yeah, that's it. Like, you're in and out the saddle. It's very natural, isn't it? Like, it's not natural if you're being told to to stay seated. That's why people ask me, like, what's the best cadence for doing, you know, X workout? And I'm like, it's the cadence that you like doing. Like, it's the cadence you enjoy doing. The, like, if, you, if you're doing something that specifically requires a cadence, then, yeah, maybe, maybe it's different. But for the most part, it's whatever you enjoy. It's whatever you're used to. Uh, again, it's kind of like we're overcomplicating it a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, 60 kilos, Jacob. Uh, 61 kilos at the minute. But um, uh, 60 kilos is like my rough average. But I would like to get back down to like 59 for hill climb season. Uh, uh, you did well, Tom. You did well. You did well. It's different outside, Lord. So, Lord, if you ever get the chance, I'd love, I'd love to be able to do this for you as well. Um, if we ever get a chance to do like a, like a, not a training camp, but if we ever get a chance to get a couple of people together and go out and and get some spaces to go to the Alps or you know wherever um, with big mountains, and we get like a car to follow and i do a i do an effort up a long climb i'd love to have like a gopro test that car or whatever and have like a couple of you sat in that car just to see particularly if i'm on on a good day and i'm going full send um to see what it kind of looks like um because I, i'm not always in the saddle um i do get out the saddle uh it's kind of an art when you're climbing it's not like you don't stay in the saddle the whole time is a bit of both, but um, I would like to do that. So if any of you are up for it, like remember that I said that and hold me accountable. Yeah, that's it. So the saddle I use, I really like the saddle. Not sponsored. The Physique Arione. Arione. Um, it's got a really long nose, so I'm able to inch really far forward. I mean, it's classic climber position. Um, it gets you well over the bottom bracket and opens up your hip angle quite a bit but i'm like i am quite literally floating on the nose the, on the nose of the saddle go away dogs josh no don't be desperate about it don't be desperate about it like patience young padawan <laughs> yes tim we've got a photographer tim we'll have to fly tim all the way from texas or that's the only issue <laughs> Yes, Cam. 
yeah, you can feel me going up, and then you can feel Scott coming down because um, he drops like a stone. Um, <laughs> right, I'll, I'll love you and leave you now because it's half seven. Um, thanks for joining, thanks for the encouragement. Um, it, it was awesome to get a new FTP, so we move forward with that one now. And uh, onwards, we will crack a new one next time and we'll keep building the momentum so thanks for watching and see you soon